Okay, let's look at some practice exercises from, for responding to a major. And then after we finish that, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about how the rest of the bidding goes after that opening bid and the response. Ready? Here we go. So, let's say that your partner has opened one heart and you have each of these three hands. And the things that we're looking for is our high card points, whether or not we have a fit, what would we bid, and then why is that our opening bid? So, ready? So, this first one. Can you see it well? You have the queen, the jack, and a total of four spades. You have four small hearts, the king and a diamond, and three small clubs. Okay? So your partner's opened a heart. How many high card points do we have on that first one? One, two, three, six. So we have six high card points. Are we, do we have the first thing we look for then? Excuse me. We have six, so we know we're going to bid. And partner opened a major, so the first thing we look for is do we have a major fit? Do we? Yeah, I've got four hearts. So I have a fit. I'm going to raise hearts. And we said I had six points. So how many hearts would I bid? Right, I would bid two hearts. Partner, I have at least three hearts. I have at least six to nine points. Okay. Number two, whoops, sorry. How many high card points do I have? Let's see. I have three small spades, the singleton king of hearts. That means I only have one of them. The queen and three more diamonds and the ace queen and five clubs. So how many points do I have? Three, four, five, nine, eleven. I have eleven. So I'm definitely going to bid. The first thing I look for is do I have three of partner's hearts? Do I? No, no. So I still want to find a major fit if we can. So do I have four spades? Nope, I've only got three. Can't bid spades. Okay, now we're to no trump. Am I balanced? No, I have a singleton. I can't bid no trump. So, hmm, no fit, not balanced, don't have four spades. But I do have 11 high card points, so I could bid a new suit at the two level if I chose to. And I do have five clubs, so I would bid two clubs. No fit, no four card major, not balanced. I have five clubs and at least 10 points. Number three. Let's see how many points I have. Four, five, six, 10, 11, 12 is what I got. I've got three spades to the ace. I have three hearts with the jack. I have the ace, the queen, and a total of four diamonds. And I have the jack and two more clubs. So do I have a fit? Partner open to heart. Yes, I do. So I'm going to bid, and I'm going to raise partner. And how many points did I have? 12. So I would bid three hearts. Partner, I have 10 to 12 points and a heart fit. Okay. Partner opened a heart again. On the first one on the left, I have three small spades, the king and a little heart, the ace and three diamonds, and the king jack and two clubs. So four, seven, 10, 11. I have 11 high card points. Am I going to bid? Yes. First thing I look for, do I have a fit in hearts? No, I don't have a fit. So then I look for the other major. Is it possible we could have a fit in spades? I've only got three, so with that we can't. So I can't bid spades. Am I balanced? Yeah, I have no singletons. I have no voids. So I have um, 11 or 12 points, so I'm going to bid two no trump. All right, on the second one, I have the ace, the king, the jack, and five total of five spades. I have the queen jack and a total of five hearts. I have a singleton diamond and I have two clubs. So partner open to heart, how many points do I have? I have 11. 
4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Do I have a fifth? Yes. So what am I going to bid on this hand? Well, from what we've learned up to this point, I have 10 to 12 points, and I have a heart fit, so you're probably thinking, well, I bid three hearts. Let me ask you a question. Looking at that hand with your five trumps and your singleton, that little five of diamonds, and those really good spades, do you think that you and partner might be able to take 10 tricks if hearts were trumps? I'd be thinking so. If, if you don't think so, you should bid three hearts. Because what partner will do when you raise, they're gonna say, oh, partner has 10 to, tw 10 to 12, and they're gonna look at how many points they have and decide, do we have 25 or 26, or we have enough to go for that game level, right? That bonus, that 300 point bonus. So you'd be leaving it up to partner if you bid three hearts to decide whether to try for that game bonus or not. But I think this is a really good hand. I think that we can probably make four hearts. I think I have a hand strong enough to force us to game. But I can't jump to four hearts, why? Because if I jump to game, partner's expecting me to have that weak freak, that really weak hand that's not very strong. So what I would do on this hand is bid one spade. I would bid a new suit, intending to go back and tell partner later that I had a really good hand for him and a fifth. If what you were thinking was three hearts, well, you're just starting out in bridge. And you do have 10 to 12 points and you have five hearts and I haven't told you anything different until right now. Hmm? But I put this in because I want you to understand that when you raise, partner's just going to kind of add your points together. And they're going to decide based on their high card points usually whether to try for that 300 point bonus or not. So when you have a hand that you think can win a lot of tricks, you might want to be a little more aggressive in your thinking about what you want to tell partner. We're going to talk a little bit more about that when this is over, okay? All right, and how about the last one? Let's see. I have the king and queen and a total of four spades. I have two little hearts, the king jack and four diamonds, and the ten and two clubs. So if partner opens a heart, I'm going to count my points. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine, I have enough points to bid, right? And now I'm gonna see, do I have a heart fit, do I? I don't, I only have two. So I don't have a fit in hearts. But look at my spades. That's my second thing I look for is, could we have a fit in the other major? And I have four spades and partner might have four spades. So I'm going to bid one spade. I'm gonna find out, tell partner I don't have a fit in hearts but I do have four spades and I have at least six points. What do you think, partner? Okay. Same exact hands, same hands we looked at before, but this time your partner's opened a spade. Okay. So I have six high card points, I'm going to bid. Do I have a fit in spades? Well, yeah, I've got the queen, the jack and four spades, so I have a fit. And what am I going to bid? I'm going to bid two spades. Partner, I have six to nine points and a fit in spades. The next one, I have 11 high card points. I have two spades, the singleton king of hearts, the queen and three diamonds, and the ace queen and a total of six clubs. I don't have a fit in spades. Next thing is, do I have um, five of the other major? Do I have five hearts and 10 points? Well, I've got the 11 points, but I don't certainly don't have five hearts. I only have the singleton king. So then am I balanced? No, not balanced. I have a singleton. But I do have those nice clubs and I have 11 points. So I'm going to bid two clubs. 
And when I bid two clubs, I'm telling partner, I don't have three of your spades, probably. I don't have hearts. I'm not balanced. I have at least 10 points and at least five clubs. And the third one, Let's see, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 high card points. I have ace and two small spades. So the first thing I look for is do I have a fit in spades? Yeah, I do. So I'm going to raise spades. And how many spades would I bid? I have 12 high card points, so I'm going to bid three spades. Partner, I have 10 to 12 points and three of your spades. And like I mentioned earlier, what partner's going to do is they're going to look at their high card points. They say, well, you raised, so I know we have a fit. We're going to play in spades. And then they're going to look at their high card points and add what they know about your hand to their points. And if they get up to 25 or 26, they're going to try for that 300 point bonus. They're going to bid four spades. And if they don't have the 10 or 12 points, I mean, excuse me, if they don't have the 25 or 26 between your two hands, they're going to pass. If they have enough for game, they'll bid game, four spades. And if they don't have enough, they'll pass and just get as many points as they can. Okay, the next one. I have three, four, five points. Am I going to bid? No. I don't have a fit in spades, but it wouldn't matter if I did. We don't have enough points for me to consider bidding. I can't respond. The fifth one. I have the ace, the king, the jack, and five spades. And I have the queen, jack, and five hearts. I have one diamond and two clubs. So, how many high card points do I have? I have 11. Do I have a fit? Yes, I do. So what am I gonna bid? Well, again, you might just bid three spades. Partner, I have 10 to 12 points and at least three of your spades. But for me, this is just like the one that we looked at when partner opened a heart. I think that this is a really good hand. I think that we'll probably have enough strength to make game. So I don't want to bid three spades and give partner a chance to pass. I want to make sure we get the game. So what I would do in this hand is I would bid two hearts. Partner would know that I had at least 10 points and at least five hearts. They're not going to know I have a spade fit. But my next bid, my very next bid, I'm going to go back and tell them about. And our last one, I have two spades. I have the king, queen, and a total of five hearts. The king, jack, and four diamonds total, and two clubs. So let's count those points. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna bid. First thing I look for is do I have three spades, do I? No. Ooh, but look at those hearts. I have the king, the queen. I have five of them. I want to tell partner about my hearts. But if I bid two hearts, that would tell partner that I had at least 10 points and at least five hearts. I've got the five hearts, but I don't have the 10 points. Since I have only six to nine points and no fit with partner spades, I must bid one no trump. I'm not going to mis, uh, mislead partner about how strong my hand is. Okay? How'd you do? I hope you did well. It's kind of a lot of information, huh? And I'm not sure. I hope you could, could read this on the video. I tried to go through the hands to let you know what they look like. So, let's think about the strength of your hand. There's other things that come into play. Like remember the two hands that we looked at the exercise where you had those long trumps and a singleton? And through the years, you know, Bridge has been around for a hundred years and they've done all kinds of different ways for you to, we call, reevaluate a hand. To look at a hand not just based on your strength, right? And what happens is, is you kind of break your hands into three categories, minimum hands, medium, maximum. Maximum are the really good ones. 
And of course, the points are different whether you're opener or responder, right? Because a responder starts, they can have as few as six points to, op to bid, an opener would have 12. So this is kind of just a good chart to show you that, you know, you kind of categorize your hands. And this is high card points, right? But there's other things that make your hand better too. And let's just look at a couple of them. Distribution, you know, when you have a singleton or a void, distribution means how many cards you have in each of the suits, okay? So sometimes you have short suits, like with a singleton or a void, that makes your hand better. Or sometimes you have more trumps, that can make a hand better. If you have more trumps, it's always good. And purity, hmm, what's purity? That's when your high card points are in your long suits. So let's look at an example. Oops, excuse me, I don't have one. Um, go back here. On this one, all we have our ace, king, jack of spades and our queen, jack of hearts. That's all of our high card points and look how they are. They're in our two long suits. So that means that with very minimal effort, you know, we might be able to take tricks in those suits pretty quickly, right? Look over here. The king, queen of hearts together and the king, jack of diamonds together, right? Let me go back one more if I can. This one, we had 12 high card points, but look how spread out everything is. We have a jack here, a jack here, right? That's scattered, you know, all of our high, comp, high card points are kind of scattered in all of our suits. And here, they were all together in our long suits. That's what we call purity. That's what we like our hands to look like. Those hands are usually better hands. They take more tricks, okay? So singletons are good things, your high card points, all in uh, your long suits. Um, extra trumps, we like extra trumps. And texture's kind of fun. Texture is when you have a lot of hand that has a lot of tens and nines. So tens and nines are not our big cards, our honor cards, right? But they're not our twos and threes and fours either. Sometimes those tens and nines will push out big cards and help you create tricks. So texture is a really good thing to have as well. All right, I'll see you tomorrow and we're gonna talk about opening no trumps.